Hello, we are finishing Chumash Bereshit today. Mazal Tov to everyone. And in our parasha, Yaakov gives a special bracha to each and every one of the Shvatim. Each and every one of his children gets a special bracha. is according to what fits his personality and maybe what will fit the Shevet, the tribe that will come from his descendants. A very famous uh, difference in brachot is between Yisachar and Zvulun. Zvulun, it says, um, Zvulun lechof yamim mishkon. It's translated, Zvulun shall dwell by the seashore. Vuhu lechof oniyot v'yarchato al Sidon. He shall be a haven for ships and his flank shall rest on Sidon. He, Zvulun has his business all over the world. He's a worldwide businessman. He can find success in many, many different places, economically, physically. Um, and wonderful, successful, beautiful bracha. Yisachar, as opposed to Zvulun, Chamor Garim, Ruvetz Vena Mishpatayim. Yisachar doesn't go all over the world. He stays put in one place. And Chazal explain that this bracha for Yisachar is about Yisachar's... Um, Issachar's dwelling in Ohalei Torah, the fact that he stays within the Torah, learning Torah, his commitment to Torah, and the Natsiv emphasizes what Issachar gives up for learning Torah. He's willing to have less success um, on the physical, economical level, but to stay with the Torah. And we know that Zvulun and Issachar had a very special relationship. That Zvulun and Issachar, according to Chazal, had an agreement that Zvulun helps Issachar physically and Issachar helps Zvulun spiritually. And I think that's such an important message. Today, in many times, people have this feeling like there are different parts in Am Israel that are in a competition. Who is better? Who is more connected to the world, who is detached, who is more spiritual, who's more dati, who's on a higher level, and who's more connected to Hashem, who's following the rules, the, the, the path that the Torah is trying to show us. And this special bracha, and the special relationship between Zvulun and Yisachar says, Zvulun doesn't have to look down upon Yisachar, and Yisachar doesn't have to... Um, treat Zvulun as a second-class citizen, but rather together. This togetherness is what's so important. I think more so. I think that many times within ourselves, we have Zvulun times and we have Yisachar times. We have parts in our life that are more Yisacharish and parts in our lives that we've been more Zvulun. If we've been a year in a yeshiva or two years or been in another, in a midrashah, or we've committed time during our day or during our life for dwelling in Oalei Torah, and then other times in our lives we do other things and we're more committed to other aspects of our life. And sometimes we look upon, upon ourselves and we either say, I wish I was where I used to be, or we look down upon who we used to be and we say, then I had everything in the wrong, I had everything wrong, I had everything upside down, I wasn't really connected to the world, or I wasn't really connected to Torah. And this special bracha, and this special relationship, connects us to the Gemara in Masechet Brachot, that the Chachamim of Yavne would say, Ani Bria v'chaveri Bria, Ani melachteo be'ir v'hu melachto basadeh, I'm a creature of Hashem, and my friend is a creature of Hashem. And we're all doing the best we can, each one in their place, each one in, 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 in their aspect of life. And together, there's going to be an Avodat Hashem of Am Yisrael. And together, we create one nation, and we create oneness within ourselves, where we see every aspect of our life, not always as fighting with each other, but rather, many times, they can come together and create a whole person with many, with a rich life and different aspects to one's personality and Avodat Hashem. Shabbat Shalom.